Hi Scorpio, welcome to your new love reading for the month of April. New love interest, I should say. <laughs> uh, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. Right, so this is for Scorpio. Scorpio. Right. Scorpio. Alright, Scorpio. Hello. The High Priestess. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancerian. You don't have to. This is about starting to pull back or withdraw or you're, you're pulling away from a situation out of self-preservation so that you can make the choice that you feel is right to you. Relying on your intuition, maybe even connecting to source to figure out what to do in a situation. Um, but I feel like it definitely involves feeling like it's kind of come to this. Like I really need to pull back and think about this. It's come to the point where I need to make a decision about something. All right. So we've got the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, Justice, Queen of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Six of Cups. All right. So Scorpio. So your future love interest. Okay. What's this Ten of Cups about? This Ten of Cups. Hmm. It looks like they're working their way towards you or they're working on... Hmm. Are they, are they getting themselves ready for a for a happy relationship is that what this is they're like all for it and it's almost like they're looking they're working towards it there's a sense of them being content with the way things are though interesting is it that something has just maybe you'll find out that something has ended for them and they're just happily unto themselves enjoying their work and their hobbies and their friends and just kind of living their life after this but they're content so they're open to anything. I mean, it, they could have had a relationship end, but there's also this sense of they're very happy with the way things are right now, just very content to be working their job and having hobbies and kids and friends and all that. So interesting. Um, but because of that, I think there might be a tendency to, to stay, to feel more solitary or to feel like to kind of, they're used to the solitude and that's where they're most content because it's less worry, right? Um, and so there might be a tendency for them to kind of want to keep to themselves largely to keep everything in their immediate vicinity that they can under their control because it just makes life easier for them. So there could be this sort of solitary nature and this um, element of control that might be a learning curve for you as a couple. <laughs> What's this justice about? this justice about three of swords what's this justice about the hanged man okay so this would suggest that hmm, maybe that's why you've gone inward so they're if they're happily working on just enjoying their life and doing their thing and working towards their goals and they got hobbies and this three of swords about for just oh is this somebody that has taken time off from the relationship to work on themselves or things because they might there it might be that learning curve i was talking about that there's only so much control you can have in a relationship before it has to be you know about compromise and whatnot you can't be just solitary and calling the shots look at this we got the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles here so you, whoever your person is, you're very similar. So why the Three of Swords? Why the Three of Swords here? What's this Three of Swords about? So we've got, okay, so is this, Scorpio, is this somebody from your past that you already know coming back in to say they're sorry after breaking your heart um, about this happily ever after that you were hoping for with them? 
so this is them also recognizing that you two were there's a, a karmic fit here there's a karmic uh, connection also quite possibly it feels right for you two to be together that's another um, for justice they're coming back to say they're sorry because they too recognize that you were each other's happily ever after so right now they're working things out they're working on things they're working towards something resolving something this could be them in therapy um, and they want to come back to say they're sorry because we've got the broken heart and justice and the ten of cups here this could be you could be dealing with the Pisces Scorpio it could be that they're saying you know what I need to be alone for a while I'm sorry but that's just the way it has to be right now it's what's the best for both of us and it leads to a little bit of upset or heartbreak but for you with regards to the happy home but so this is a twist because this typically is um this is somebody incoming but it looks like somebody from your past is circling back around this would suggest that you kind of whatever they told you you kind of would have expected it whatever happened to cause this heartache um you it was kind of expected because it, the three of swords is not a surprise it's um it's not like the ten of swords in that regard it's uh something because before that we had the two of swords which is blocking emotions not communicating all but cutting things off and then here's so it's, so it's almost like the three of swords is inevitable so anyway so we've got this correcting corrective action here whether it's an apology or cutting things off and there's heartache and the ten of cups here so this feels familiar this feels like this is something you've been dealing with for a while with this person um, I so hence the need to kind of go inward to figure out what you should do because it looks like both of you are in your separate corners right now and it could very well be that what's this hangman about that they're kind of just making the unexpected decision to end a situation now it could be entirely that both of you have ended situations with other people to come together so that's what this person was working on over here maybe you had a situation you needed to end as well um, and they abruptly ended their situation or stopped their involvement with the situation because recognizing your feelings with each for each other it was the right thing to do it could be that um, because look at this we have suited here okay so this again has the feeling that there were other people involved but you two see each other and recognize other in each other like you you get each there's just some kind of connection that happens and because of that things are in flux there's things about this person's situation that you can't control scorpio you got to let them handle it and there's you having to deal with your own situation that they obviously can't control or get involved in so it could be this waiting period and this disconnect and this kind of upheaval and, and sadness right now while each of you might be dealing with your own separate situations before you two can come together okay you both are very similar practical approach used to doing things um, by yourself very independent very good mates very good partners there is though the element of over controlling things so watch out for that because you are a very present partner very involved but there could be a tendency that when the other person starts to falter you get in there and want to just take over and fix it just for practical purposes if nothing else and both of you seem to be like that so just be careful <laughs> that there might be a clashing of the energies the, these it works well together but at the same time it could be where both of you are too many cooks in the kitchen is what I'm saying so this could be a new normal for you having to adjust each of you have to adjust to um, when you finally do get to be together when these situations are resolved it's that new normal of adjusting to like oh okay um, I guess I can back off on this because this person can take care of that or that sort of thing all right so this <laughs> scorpio oh. all right so we've got we could have capricorn here these two could be capricorn this could be virgo libra um, pisces or cancer scorpio pisces this does not have to be something toxic or unhealthy this could also be a wonderful uh very connected out of this world physical relationship just saying so you know 
consider that with this person. You probably already know that because this feels familiar. So this, this right here speaks to um, a wonderful physical connection. Just saying, just there you go. <laughs> and again with the, so we've got two sixes here. So that is, what is two sixes again? Irritability, probably frustration that the situation's not progressing further, but we got suited. So this is kind of like meant to be together. We've got crazy physical connection and we've got a soulmate energy here. We've got a karmic relationship. So even if things are kept apart for now or you're each having to deal with separate situations that might be causing some friction or irritability or even heartache for you, and there's a period of having to be uh, this, and I don't want to sound creepy, but honestly, this feels kind of destined. I feel like you've been dealing with this person for the past couple months and they, they keep showing up in the reading, the same type of reading for you, Scorpio. So this is somebody that it's almost like you're supposed to be with, but things keep getting in the way. It's coming, but things keep getting in the way. And it could be, again, that relationships or other involvement that you two have to wrap up. So what's the Six of Cups about? What's the Six of Cups about for Scorpio? Six of Cups. Hello, Scorpio. Those two jumped. Queen of Wands and Strength. So this is all about once it, you get going, this is going to be a really connected partnership that is based on a solid, strong foundation. So, you know, you have that to look forward to. <laughs> Not too shabby. What else for the Six of Cups? What else for the Six of Cups? Having to be patient and waiting for someone to take that leadership role. So this could be that each of you are waiting for each other to resolve your own situations. Um, and you're both having to be patient because it, it involves both of you handling your situations and being patient and waiting for the other person to kind of meet you. It's almost like, okay, we'll meet here when both of us are ready and then we'll make plans and move forward. But right now we got to be patient. But once you do crazy physical connection, it's almost like you're meant to be together. We got the 10 of cups. We got the six of cups. And we've also got this being a really dynamic relationship moving forward with power and confidence and being a very solid stable even powerful here strength coming from a position of strength and it just being a, a solid connection once you are able to get it off the ground it's just that decisions have to be made and there has to be resolution for both of your sides um, as far as what your situations are all right what else for scorpio for Scorpio this person man they're just like fighting their way through though because they keep showing up no matter what reading is done it's like this situation keeps showing up <laughs> they're pushy <laughs> they're pushy <laughs> what else for Scorpio that one oh Okay. Hi, <laughs> Scorpio. I'm blushing over here. Um, red, passion, anger, courage, just all, yeah, that's the feeling things to the, I mean, there's just a lot of deeply feeling something here. So, hmm. okay. Scorpio. Scorpio. Hello. Hold on a minute. right so we've got the cross and we've got the tree so this speaks to the potential for a solid stable uh, relationship or connection of longevity but right now things could be in crisis or things are not going well things are challenging right now and we see that here with the heartbreak and the the hangman and the need for leadership or to get things moving to make decisions to get things moving so once this relationship does get going uh, we, we've got a solid foundation here with lots of fun and adventure and also people are very suited for each other that get the pragmatics of a relationship as well as the, you know, the passion. <laughs> but until this right now, things are just difficult because of what you're each having to go through. And this is you probably feeling that psychic connection with that person that, you know, beyond the 
physical realm connection, but having to take care of matters over here, you can't be with them yet, and they can't be with you yet until matters are resolved. What else for Scorpio? Blessing. Nice. All right. It's just a matter of time. This has the stamp of approval on it. It's just a matter of time. What else for Scorpio? What's for Scorpio? Yes, it's a lot to bear right now. It could be that you have pulled back because you feel like, you know what? I feel like maybe I've been waiting or I've been helping you through something and you've got to make the decisions now at this point i've got to pull back it's breaking my heart to do so but i can't be more involved than i am you've got to take it from here so this is a it doesn't have to be that but there's an element or there's a sense of this situation is kind of taking its toll on both of you and so it's very wise of you to pull back and to pull inward right now and to just be kind of trying to do your own thing what you think is best connecting to source trusting using your intuition to guide you uh, what you should do in this situation because at some point it gets to be to where um, if it's too much and someone's always in support or always compromising for the other person i mean literally back breaking no matter how much you feel or love this person they have to be at some point they have to step up and just do it themselves because eventually that'll build resentment down the road so it's good that you pulled back i know it hurts right now but it, you know we got blessing here we got passion we got things working out once the person it feels like them it feels like you're wrapping yours up but it feels like they need to make take a more active role more proactive role because we got that hangman here so it could be that they need to be more proactive about making decisions that would bring you two closer because they want to they just have not yet things keep getting delayed for whatever reason so this could be how you're feeling like you know i've been waiting i've been in support this and that and it's starting to take its toll on you so just be aware of that and once again very wisely uh, you have pulled back and decided to do what's best for you so until further notice this is where you live <laughs> because they they really do need to handle it before things can be before you two can start making plans together all right scorpio i hope this was helpful um, and I hope you have a very good April. I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care. Thank you for stopping by.